on the well, what I plan to do is I'm going to make my own um, sort of four inch um, styrofoam insulation. So the way I hope to make that work is, I'll show you here in a bit, but I've got a four inch PVC pipe, a thin wall PVC pipe. I'm going to cut it just down one side just to be able to split it open, just like how that foam pipe insulation works. And I'm going to snap it around the inch and a quarter pipe here. Uh, and I've got two elbows, so I'll have to do an elbow down here at the bottom. I've got a four inch elbow for the bottom down there and a four inch elbow for the top up here. And then I've got a bunch of that great stuff insulation and I'm just going to fill the whole annulus with great stuff. So I hope that's enough to do it. It's going to be pretty ghetto fabulous, as I like to say. Um, but that's my plan because that's what I got and it's got to get done before dark tonight. So I could run, you know, 30 minutes into Houston and I could probably find some big foam insulation. But honestly, if the rural places are sold out of it, you better believe the suburban places are sold out of it because people just go nuts. People freak out at the thought of a freeze. We, Like I said, in the South, we're just not used to it. Um, people get foolish, people get dumb. They insulate their pipes, you know, a day at a time, basically, and they'll rip it all off in the spring because it looks ugly or whatever. So long-term plan, when I get all this grade work done around the wellhead, I will build uh, a little well house, like just four foot by four foot, just enough to be able to fit the well in there, put the pressure tank in there, um, you know, maybe a water filtration system, but something that I can put a little shack around the whole thing, insulate it, uh, and never have to worry about this again. So to our, I'm gonna split our pipe first just because I want to get this done and see how it That's works. Pretty pliable, pretty flexible. So I think with just one cut, I can split it. Just like that foam insulation. So we'll be able to pry it open. There's that one. We'll do the other one. And then we'll go about snapping them on. All right, let's see how this goes. This is the super expanding foam, by the way. It's supposed to foam uh, three times expansion. All right, redo the game plan. I gotta find something to shore this thing up on so I can let it hang there while I keep working. All right, let's see if my split pipe idea works as good as I hoped. Probably gonna screw up all my foam here when I do it. Man, that stuff really snaps shut on itself, don't it? Probably should have put this on first, looking at it now. Should have put this on first and then done the elbows. For sure, because I could have clamped the elbows over it. There you go, it snapped on. And we're just gonna shove it down in there. It ain't gotta be too perfect, really. It's wanting to uh, snap a smaller ID on itself. It's not one to stay the full four inch OD or ID, whatever. Let's see if I can get some sticks or something to kind of help with that. Because what I've got to be able to do is reach in through this split with my can of foam to fill it up. You see? Yeah, it turned out to be a nightmare idea pretty quick. Pretty stupid idea. But, say anything else I told you guys. 
the price I pay for being unprepared. You know? Pull that garbage out of there. I'm going to have little bits of this foam laying all over the place for years to come. Huh. Well, that's in there. On there. Whatever you want to call it. I'm going to get one more piece cut to go down here along the ground. Yeah, right along there, however this thing works. Whoa. Whoa, there we go. Uh, one more piece cut to go down there. Ah, I'm getting sticky foam all over my shirt. I like this hoodie too. Doggone it, once you get this stuff on, you ain't never getting it off. Um, one more piece along the ground here. I'm gonna have to shovel out a little bit just to make it a good fit, and then I'll cover the rest with dirt and hay. So I'll get that cut and put on, and then we'll foam all the big long lengths. All right, so I'm learning as I go here. <clears throat> I know working with this expanding foam stuff sucks. I know that, it's sticky and it gets on everything. Uh, but just a quick summary on how things are going, <laughs> because I've wasted a lot of time and I'm getting irritated. The pipe around pipe, not a terrible idea, um, but probably there's better ideas. You can see I got really good expansion out here. I probably actually wasted some foam, where as you're filling it, it takes time. It expands very, very slowly. So as you're filling it, you don't really know if you're getting a good fill or not until you look back a couple minutes later and you see it all bulging out like that. And that kind of indicates that, yeah, I think I stopped her pretty full. So I'm happy with that. I need to put a little bit more in this vertical here. So I went ahead and just cut a little hole. Um, I can look in that hole and I don't see any foam in there anywhere. This, these cans of foam, it's a little cold out here for them really and they're not, they're not wanting to get a full discharge. So I feel like I'm only getting about half the can out before it just kind of stops flowing. But I think the best thing I've found is just direct application. It doesn't look pretty. In fact, it looks real ugly. I mean, actually, it kind of looks pretty depending on your artistic eye. Um, but this stuff will you know it'll it'll start to weather it'll start to turn orange and some people think that looks ugly and nasty but i mean there's nothing pretty about this right now there's foam on freaking everything um but this is probably the easiest just going along steady with your can of foam and you have to be careful because when you first put it out it's it's real runny it'll just fall under its own weight so you got to kind of give it some time to set up kind of work an area and then move work an area and, and then come back to it and work of course underneath was the trickiest part you can see how it really sagged here um, but if we look up under there, it is, let me see if I can get you under there. Just looking underneath there, it's all fully encased. Oh, there's a spot I missed, see? There it sagged. So I'll come back and I'll hit that. I've got one more can of foam. I'm going to come back through and I'm going to touch up. Well, first I'm going to fill this void here. I'm going to fill this spot. And then I'll go around and I'll touch up anywhere that I can see bare pipe. And Again, up there on the pressure tank, I'm just going to throw hay over those. If I have more foam, I might just go ahead and direct foam those as well. Um, but I want to make sure this out here is foamed really well because I can throw hay over that and I'd be happy with it. Um, but I might go ahead and foam those pipes just because there's no harm in it really. Foam them and then bury them in hay. Why not? So, got one more can to use up. I'm going to use it up and then I'm going to call it done. All right, well, I think I'm just about burned out and had enough. So that's... It's setting up well. You can see where I foamed that little spot here at the top of the pipe, right there. Or I had that little hole I was showing you. The foam is expanding out of it now. So uh, that's a good sign. Gone through and covered up the line on the ground as best I could with dirt. Um, you know, not to say that that's a huge help, but it certainly won't hurt. I wish I had the time today to screw with it. I'd just go ahead and do all the rest of the dirt work and fill up around the whole well head. <laughs> the real only concern was this line from the wellhead to the pressure tank. Um, because the way this works, of course, those of you that have a well and a pressure tank know, pressure tank goes low on pressure because you're running water in the house. Well kicks on, pressures it back up, shuts off. So when the well pump is on, water is flowing through this line on the ground here that's buried. But when the pump shuts off, that stops. And water that's sitting still is far more likely to freeze, of course, than water that's moving. Um, so that was my really only concern really is from the well to the pressure tank I'm not too worried about the pressure tank so I think I'm done I'm not gonna do anything with all this blue board I was gonna wrap it around the well or around the pressure tank but I'm wore out maybe I'll do it later today if I get 
get bored or get antsy in the house again, but I think we want to go run some errands, and we got plenty to do inside too as far as still working on this place. So with that, I'm going to call it done, and uh, fingers crossed we won't have any freezing issues.